Good luck. Back. And there's the bell for round one. Oh, and he caught him with a left hook. Got out of the way that right hook. He scores with that right hand. As the great Phil Collins once sang, I can feel it in the air tonight. What a buzz. Can you imagine walking into this tub, walking into a room with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. He misses with that jab. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? And this is that jab. Just misses with that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ, but counter punches are the best. Perfect punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Got him with a clean right uppercut. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. And he 
caught him there with a the left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Who's going to be the first one to get buzzed? He takes that jab. with that jab. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Good one. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses how do you deal with them you've got to ruffle their feathers todd you cannot let them get comfortable drag them get them complaining to the referee because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm the fight is over very close round with 10 seconds to go That was super tight. I dread being a judge. This fighter's gonna get clipped first. And he misses with that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. these fighters is starting to run out of gas what do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy midway through the fight if you are tired this can be the loneliest place in the world if you cheated now they're gonna find out some nice exchanges from both men in this round and there's an uppercut a big uppercut and his knees buckled that time
Oh, and he caught him with a left hook. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He's gone. Just keep on top of him. Don't let him get back in. Into the body. Keep taking away the air. And every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him downstairs. Jab him downstairs. Stop him from getting that breath in. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Missing with that jab. That punch landed. Scores with that right uppercut. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. How did he absorb that hook? Oh, and that left hook hurt him. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <laughs> Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Time winding down as we get set for another round. Then it's going to be the first one to get clipped. Punch. You've 
heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Combination to this safe. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Got him with a left jab. The jab doesn't quite connect. Old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. But you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're per this round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's gonna do his fight right. He's gonna judge this right. He's gonna do his job right. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? He left his chin exposed and he got caught. Perfectly timed uppercut. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. These two are the perfect dance partners. These uppercuts are scoring. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. know which fighter is winning this bout. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. First one to get rocked. Nice punch. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He 
threw the hook, didn't land. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. That jab misses. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. Which fighter is going to get caught first? Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. There's a scoring blow. Fails to score with that left hook. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That hook scores. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He didn't take that jab well at all. Ten seconds to go. Who's going to get the last shot here in the round? <laughs> this fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was super tight. I dread being a judge.
And He's going to be the first one to get caught. Hook scores. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. That's another scoring shot. Get him with a left jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Fantastic punch. <laughs> There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Fighter's gonna get clipped first. Oh, he 
stiff jab. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket him. Scoring uppercut there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Clean jab. exchange here from both men one of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing it's how well you can take a punch to the face the problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you you're hurt you're gone you've got to protect that but you've also got to get your shots off and they forget you can bang too Nice uppercut, the most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Jump all over him. Mix it up. Body and head. Be smart. Change your angles. Go out there and finish him. He's ready to go. Which fighter is going to get caught first? Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Missed him with that uppercut. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. 
I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Clean jab. They figure out the combination to this safe. A scoring hook. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Good looking jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Go back to the drawing board time, a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous.